Not many drivers were arrested today for driving on the shoulders of the Spinkters Road while the team was there. But this Uber driver was a culprit. No offense, no offense, Mr. Am I? I'm dropping someone's stand back. I told you I'm driving on the shoulders of the road. No, and man, I'm here and 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 I'm stopping you. This is stand back. And this is the office. I was stopping you. Oh, daddy, no. Oh, yes, and you're not doing it fairly with me. Because this is stand back. Stand back, Amy. And I'm going to catch you. It's not that I'm lying. I can't drive on the highway, I minister. Mean, it's not right for you to drive and dot traffic. I was even fighting with people ahead. So I didn't know you follow traffic, no? No more money on highway. They are causing the traffic. The other person to do so is a taxi driver who, upon arrest, claimed his vehicle had developed a fault. A towing vehicle was dispatched from the East Legon police station to tow it away at a 200 Ghana CD cost to the driver. <laughs> He's yet to face the Lamoto court where a fine possibly awaits him. To bending. And so best and cocoon because your license is. I shall make a cocoon. I mean cocoon. The court fine me as all money. I saw my only me and I am in one one po. Because can I say? I mean Pianca and Abba. What would say Pianca and Abba? Who's who's my yap found? And to know Pianca and Pianca and Ediba. My Pianca and the people who are in Amidiba. Other drivers with expired DV plates, licenses, and roadworthy certificates were apprehended. Some had their stickers but refused to emboss them on their windscreens as the law prescribes. They were compelled to do so, cautioned and spared. For the first time, a driver was arrested for having a tinted windscreen. Another was soon arrested after the first culprit. So you, you will go to court for that? The owner of the car, he's the one I'm talking to. I didn't know any of that. My car, uh, when I bought the car, I bought the front uh, windscreen was tinted. So he was just informing me that. I was telling him that I wanted to take off. Yeah. Uh, okay, can be, yeah. Uh, uh, we are handling a similar case here. The police did not buy these excuses. Neither did they give in to the calls that came through. Yeah, 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 investigation. You can't just say you're chill. Can't for another thing. Investigation is a bit too much. Can't pay me what he This driver was arrested for using a fake number plate. Apparently, officials from the Driver and Vehicle Licensing Authority attached to the Y team had earlier warned him against using same. He was processed for court. I was in a high school. Uh, just by WhatsApp notice, we were asked to converge at Legon for a four-day program, workshop or whatever it is, we don't know. And we got here thinking it is for the good of our students. City TV's war against the discipline team has been to the Spinkters Road alone for more than 15 times to conduct such exercises. Member of the Public Affairs Department of the Police Headquarters, ASP Simon Tengu, tells me the exercise will be reviewed to check speeding on our highways. Today we did not get... A lot of drivers driving on the shoulder, which I believe is positive. But we still face the problem of motorists or drivers not fixing uh, stickers on the windshield, which we, we've been warning and we tell them it is, it is against the law. Because police need to see those things to enable us to do our work efficiently. Apart from that, we have reviewed the program and it will not just be on the shoulders, on the shoulders. We will be tackling speed. And we will also make sure there is discipline on the highway. It is important to mention the fact that road crashes is causing a lot of deaths. And we believe a major cause is indiscipline on the part of road users. And I can say that this year we will intensify the enforcement and make sure we save lives and property. For City News, I'm Caleb Kuda.